Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be making a key for a lock as part of a collaboration with another YouTuber, McNally Official. Okay, so uh, I present to you me making a key from scratch. So in order to make the padlock, we need to make the key. So we need about this much for our key stem. So I got a tiny little line there, and that should be enough to get us in the ballpark, I think. I don't know, we'll try. I'm sure I'm gonna eat those words. I'm not gonna use a saw or anything for this. I, I'm gonna use, let me introduce you to my friend, the cold chisel. So I made this cold chisel a little while ago, and you can see it has a really harsh geometry to it. And this is what I'm gonna use to cut this sheet metal. This is, luckily this is thin enough and this is sturdy enough that with a little bit of hammering, I can actually cut through this. So I'm gonna use my little bench anvil here. This is like the ugliest anvil in the world, but I love it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're So now I can take this to the vise and break this off. Ta -da. You can also tell that there's an angle on this one side and I'm gonna do that, but with a file just on the other side. What I'll end up doing is I'll roll this and I want those ends to meet up nicely and it's hard to get two square ends to meet up well. So I'll, I'll just scarf them, they call it. So now that's ready for the forge. I thought we could have a little chalkboard moment over here and I can talk a little bit more about key anatomy and the parts of a key. I am choosing to make this key in four components. So we have the bit, the stem, the collar, and the bow. And these are all going to be made individually and then soldered together. You could also braise them. I think I'm gonna solder. And these are the key components. Ooh. Okay, um, back to the video. So what if you're if you're wondering what this mystery liquid is, that is just white vinegar. Once I'm finished forging things, I usually put them in white vinegar to help dissolve this the scale that forms on them. I forged a couple of these bows, and I think this is the one that I'll end up going with. Okay, so this one's still attached to the bar. We have the stem, we have the bow. And initially, I thought I was going to be able to get the collar as well as the bow in one piece, but I don't think I will be able to. So I forged out this tiny little chunk that I will make into a collar that's going to fit on here. This is all going to get trimmed back a whole lot. Good. Let's do a, a montage. 
of me of me filing on everything and cold working it. So okay, okay, bye. <laughs> So the bit is going to be trimmed down quite a bit. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's gonna... So this is going to be the part that actually turns the lock. So would you stop? <clears throat> Just, I can't Bruh. hold on to anything right now. It's so cold in here, I can't. It needs to be trimmed and then it's going to be fit so it perfectly butts up against the, the tube, right? Easy. So this needs a bit of work, it's just flat, and I'm gonna, see I can't hold on to anything. So this section is going to be a tenon, so I'm gonna file this into a small little round nub. Okay, so that'll go into the collar, and then I'm gonna trim this and I'm gonna file, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna file a tenon on the end of this, and that is going to fit into this section. Does that all make sense? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of finalize, like make sure all of these little pieces fit. All right, we're gonna cut to me having that done already. So here we go. It's just like Lego. This is our key bow. As you can see, it's rounded out. I'll do some fine tuning on it, but it's pretty roughed in. And I also put a little tendon on there. So this needs to plug into this. So we need to somehow put a small indentation into our collar material. So then I can plug this in there. And I had a, a pretty pretty dumb and stupid idea because I want to do this using only hand tools. I made this silly little punch that is about, that little nub is about the size of our tenon drive that sucker down in there that I want to all kind of snap together. Uh, I'm gonna set this up in the vise. We're just gonna do it by eye. I do a lot of, a lot of stuff by eye like a, a, a dumb idiot. Okay, cool, let's do that. Well, I guess we'll see how we can get out of this one. Man, these tongs are embarrassing. So that was a little bit of a disaster, but I think we might be able to pull a win out. We're gonna try at least. I'm gonna cut this off and see if I can't make it look nice. Fingers crossed, I don't know, dude. <laughs> this, this looks pretty bad. I was able to file a little tenon on that chunk. It it really transformed a whole lot, and I'm I'm fairly pleased with how this came out. So they all fit, they all fit pretty well, but we are officially, look at that. And this is an unadorned key so far. Like I'll add some details to this and it's not finished. So everything is fit up. Let's solder this thing. I think we did it, y'all. Yeah, well, we'll do a better job on the next one. That's okay, everybody, give a big old W in the chat. We did it. So now we're ready to give the finishing, finishing touches to everything. Yeah, now I'm gonna go over to the bench and do some file work on it and make this all clean and shiny and ready to proceed on actually making the lock portion. <laughs>
After a lot of filing and cold work at the bench, we finally have a finished key. This was a real challenge doing it only with hand tools, but I think it came out looking pretty good. I think it would be fun making more complicated keys in the future using similar methods. But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Wow, I can't believe we made it to the end of the video so soon. Uh, thanks for being here. Tune in next time to see how I finish this padlock, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Oh wow, look at that, you made it to the end of the video. Well, since you're still here, you may as well look at this cool hacksaw that I've been working on over on Instagram. So you should go follow me over there. You can interact with me more readily and you get to see all the cool stuff I'm working on that I don't make stupid videos about. So make sure you check that out. I also have classes over at nateweiss.org if you wanna come take a class with me. It's a lot of fun and you should definitely do it. Uh, that, yep, that's it. Thanks for making it to the end of the video.